Good evening. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah, and whatever else you celebrate, happy that as well. Thank you so much for joining us today at the Center for Spiritual Living. We're going to start by singing um, an unusual song. Um, the title is Joy to the World, but the words are Deck the Hall. So go figure, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and, and start that. Please stand. <laughs> Deck the halls with bells of holly, fa la 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 Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 Thank you, and so it is. Please be seated, and the choir can be seated too. Thanks. So, just a few logistical things as we're settling into this beautiful evening. We are just so delighted to have you here this evening, and we want to make it a delightful evening for everyone. One of the things that I want to start with is thanking all of the volunteers that have served to make this evening happen. Behind the scenes, or greeting, or singing, or acting, whatever it is. <laughs> It really does take a committed community, and that is what we are, a center of love where we strive to be love, share love, and serve love. A few things um, regarding some safety issues, parking. You may have noticed that parking can be challenging in this neighborhood. Have you noticed? Okay, it can be. So we want to make sure that you're not blocking anybody's driveway. If you are, we'll come and get you and uh, <laughs> be asked to move your car. Also, uh, since we have fire in this service, we'll, we'll be lighting candles at the end, and there's always a concern about fire safety. So just be mindful when you're holding your candle, candle rather, <laughs> and when, you're, um, when you have a lit candle, hold it straight up and down, and then the person with the unlit candle that's taking the flame from you will tip their candle and get the flame from you, okay? Does that sound good? Does that work? Okay, good. The other thing that I'd like to remind you about is animal safety. At the end of the service, we have live animals come on stage, and um, we'll have many, many, many different species on stage. And after the service, you are welcome to come up and visit with them. They love people. But again, just be mindful that you're working with live animals, and, and just take, be, be mindful is, is the, the gist of that. Um, so tonight, tonight is about miracles. And in this center, we define miracles as any shift in consciousness, anything that causes us to awaken to the power and the presence of love that is in everything. The first skit is a miracle of finding something that was once lost. And the second skit addresses the Hanukkah miracle of light in the darkness. The third is a miracle of how faith and joy can overcome severe grumpiness. <laughs> and the fourth is how the spirit of wonder comes alive when we bear witness to the consciousness of wholeness and love that is inherent in all of things, and most especially in our friends, the animals. So just sit back, relax. You are welcome to take as many pictures as you like, particularly when the animals come on stage. We have mo many moments for photo ops. And just, uh, just allow this service to draw you into that Christmas holiday spirit of love and joy and peace that is always there, but just seems somehow more present in this sacred time. Our scene opens at the Baker home. We would like you to meet the mother, Jane Baker, father, Don Baker, daughter, Patty Baker, and son, Paul Baker. Oh, and uh, soon you will be meeting Willie Baker, the beloved family dog. The family is getting ready for their, their day, and there are, are three weeks until Christmas, and they all have a lot of things to do. Hey, you guys, I just realized there's only three weeks till Christmas and we all have a lot of things to do. Yeah, when the family's coming, church and school activities, our schedule's gonna be crazy. Mom, when are we going to bake the cookies for the cookie exchange? That's one of my favorite things. Mine too. And I love trying out these 
Cookies. Mmm. <laughs> right. We're just lucky to have any left after your testing. I made an appointment for the... <laughs> <laughs> I made an appointment for the Doggy Palace for Willie to get a bath. He'll be all handsome for his Christmas pictures. How come? Mom, that's what I do. I like to give him his bath. I know, Paul, but you aren't going to have time. This will be one less thing we have to do. Okay, come on, you two. I'll drop you off at school on my way to work. Bye. See you later. Love you. Me too. Later, we see Jane and Willie at the groomers. Hi. I'm Jane Baker, and this is Willie. We have an appointment. This is his first time here. He's very friendly, but as you can see, a little nervous. Well, I think he'll be fine. <laughs> we'll take really good care of him. It'll be about three hours, and I'll call you when he's ready for pickup. Okay, I'll be at home, and that time frame will work out great. Bye, big boy. Be a good dog, and I'll see you soon. Later, at the Baker home... Oh, Jane, this is Doggy Palace. I, I'm so sorry to tell you. Willie's been missing for about a half an hour. He ran out of our building and we've been looking for him, but we've had no luck. He, he's just gone. What? How could this happen? I can't believe it. This is so awful. What's happening, Mom? What's wrong, Mom? Uh, well, the back gate was unlatched and the front door was open for a delivery. Willie was through the door and out the gate in a flash. Out the door and down the street. I'm on my way. Kids, come on. We have to find Willie. He got away from the groomer and is running loose in town. But Mom, he's not used to the cars and he doesn't know how dangerous it is. A dog out all alone. We have to find him. He's probably so scared. So... They went back to the groomer. Has, has he, he come, come back? back? Have you seen him? Seen which way, him? Which way did, he did he go? Did he come back? Well, at least he has his collar with our phone number. Uh, no, no, his collar's here. Well, we took it off when we were getting ready to bathe him. Nobody will know who he is. Oh, his name or, or where he lives. I am so sorry. This has never happened before. Let's go find Willie. Kids, let's get in the car and look for him. Which way did he go? He ran up the street to that way. <laughs> Where are you guys? I was getting worried. We're out looking for Willie. He ran away from the groomer and he's loose in town. We've been driving around calling him for the last two hours. We just can't find him. It's getting dark and... Come on home and we'll start making calls and make some posters. We'll get going with that and then we'll go out when things are quieter, when there's less traffic. Okay, we'll come home, but we have to go out again. We can have the kids work on posters. Sadly, the Baker family gathers at their home. Don't worry, kids, we'll find him. Dad, this is awful. We've looked and we've looked everywhere. It got dark and we couldn't find him. We looked everywhere. What if, what if somebody found him and wants to keep him? He must be scared. I know, I know. I'm sure all kinds of thoughts are going through all of our minds. Let's all sit down and figure out what we can do to find Willie. Yes, we can do that and we should, but first, I believe we should sit down and pray together. Pray to move our heads out of fear, to move into the knowing that we'll have our wonderful friend, Willie, back home. Where's Willie? That night, Paul and Patty made posters to hang up in the next morning. The whole family began at 5 a.m. and continued to hang signs until time for work and school. And then they went back and out in the afternoon. All activities and events for Christmas were limited to the minimum. They called and they visited all the shelters in the area. They posted notices in all the local papers, but it was difficult to spread the word about Willie's disappearance. They had an outpouring of support from their friends and family, all wanting to help in their search. 
Twice their hopes were raised, but the dogs that had been found were not there, Willie. Their faith was tested. Their family goal of maintaining a belief in a reunion with their dog became more and more difficult as the days and weeks went by with no news. Sadness seemed to bring all the fears and doubts to the surface. Each in their own way, the bakers dealt with the pain and uncertainty of their lost companion. However, the kindness given to them by all the people that cared for them brought blessings into their lives. They even found enjoyment in their shared holiday get-togethers when they found themselves laughing. It lightened their hearts and allowed them to forget, even for a moment, the sadness that it wanted to settle there. It seemed that they had all been expecting Willie home for Christmas. But Christmas Eve arrived and he wasn't home. His bed was empty, his favorite toys seemed so forlorn, waiting silently to play. Oh, no wet nose snudged into their hands, asking them to pet him, to scratch his ears, or to remind them of dinner time. There were no daily walks in the park. It was such a lovely Christmas Eve service. I'm so glad we all went together. Me too, Jane. It was a gift to be surrounded by all the music and the love. I think it's important that we continue with our family traditions. They help us keep that feeling of connection to each other and to God. Come on, everyone. Dad's going to read our Christmas story, and then we're going to watch a movie. It's a wonderful life. Aren't we, Dawn? We watch it every year. I think the best part is when the angel gets her wings. Can I put out the cookies for Santa Claus? <laughs> Yes, we can do it together. Come on, Patty. No more sampling. Save some for Santa. Okay, kids. Time for bed. We have a busy day tomorrow. Graham and Gramps are coming early. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad, for a fun night. Except, except for... Yes, I know. Except for missing Willie. We all feel that way, Patty. But remember our promise. We're going to hold the light in our hearts that we will find Willie. Good night. Good night. Love, love you. Love you. Me too. Good night. And sometime later. Mom! Dad! Mom! <laughs> What's wrong? It's 3 o'clock in the morning. What's it's all Willie. The, what's all the yelling? <laughs> it's Willie. Something's he happened. <laughs> Willie's home. Willie's home. He was looking for us and, and he found us. I knew he wanted to come home. Oh, Willie. Let me look him over. He looks like he could use some food and water. He looks so thin. Poor thing. His feet are sore. Looks like he's been walking for miles. He looks exhausted. <laughs> but he's wagging his tail and his behind is all wiggly. He keeps kissing us. Look. He's smiling. This is the best Christmas gift ever. Mm, the power of prayer. <laughs> yep, it works. We just have to let God do the work. Yes, there are a lot of Christmas miracles in the Baker home that year. They were reunited with their beloved pet, Willie, and their hearts were lifted by the outpouring of love from their friends and family during a time of sadness and uncertainty. If I'm paying attention, I can see the hand of God everywhere. There are miracles just waiting for me, and they're waiting for us right now.
Bubby, tell me the story again. The one about the miracle. Miracle? You know the one, Bubby. I need to hear the story you and Zeta tell ev me every year. The one about the miracle of light. Oh, child. You must be tired of that story. No, Bubby. I need to hear about the miracle. She wants to hear about the brave Maccabees and how they rebelled. How they took back Jerusalem from the Syrians. But Zeta... That wasn't the miracle of light. All my life, you and Bubby have told me how the Maccabees rebelled, because King Antio Antio Antiochus, King Antiochus of Syria. They rebelled because Syrian King Antiochus tried to make the Jewish people worship Greek gods, and he put up a statue of himself in the Jewish holy temple and tried to make the Jewish people 
bow down in front of it. Oh, but the Ten Commandments forbade Jews to worship statues or idols, so they refused. Do you remember what happened next, Ruthie? Yes, I remember. The Maccabees rebelled and fought a three-year war and took back Jerusalem from the Syrians. But the Holy Temple was almost destroyed. The Jews had to clean and repair the temple, and when they were finished, they rededicated it to God. They did this by lighting a lamp called the menorah. And the miracle? That's right. Why did they do that, Ruthie? Why did they light a menorah? Because it was a symbol of God's presence, but they only found a little jar of oil. This is my favorite part. There was only enough oil for one day, but then the miracle happened and the lamp did lit for eight days. Yes, Ruthie, it was a miracle. And that's why we named this holiday Hanukkah. It means dedication or the festival of lights. This celebration is a reminder to Jews of this miracle from God. Why is this story so important to you today, Ruthie? Because I have this problem, Bubby and Zeta, and I didn't know what to do. So I wanted, no, I needed to be reminded about God's miracles. It's the lesson you've taught me all my life. It makes me happy to remember why we celebrate Hanukkah, Ruthie. Right now, our family and Jewish families all over the world are remembering the miracle of light. That was really amazing, a real miracle. So, do you want us to tell you that story again, Ruthie? The one that happened 2,500 years ago? I guess we told that story together, Bubby and Zeta, didn't we? Yes, child, we did. And I'm glad we did. Telling it with you helps me to see that miracle through your eyes. It helps me remember that it really was a miracle. Maybe, maybe you can help me to remember that there are new miracles happening all around us. Miracles happening every day. I think John and Dave are getting ready for the menorah lighting. I'm going to go and see. She didn't tell us about her problem. <laughs> oh, that's okay. If she tells us, we'll listen. But this isn't about her problem. It's about her trust in God. All her life, we have shared our spiritual principles with Ruthie. She has been raised in our traditions. Good evening. My name is Jonna Shane. I'm a practitioner here at the center. And this is my beau, David Flager and we have the honor and privilege of kindling the menorah this evening. I will say the blessing in Hebrew, and Dave will translate it into English. And you start with the Shamus candle, which is the starter candle. Tonight is the third night of Hanukkah, so you begin with the third night. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melaholam Asher Kirishanu Pamitzvitov Vitzivanu the head like ne'er shall hanika. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with your commandments and commanded us to kindle the lights of Hanukkah. May Adonai bless you and guide you. Happy Hanukkah. And so it is. And so it is.
Merry Christmas be so jolly, decked with holly, and by golly, everyone will love you if you be a Santa Claus. Jolly old St. Nicholas, lean your ear this way. Don't you tell a single soul what I'm going to say. Christmas ah, Eve is coming soon, now you dear old man. Whisper what you'll bring to me. Tell me if you can. You better watch out, you better not cry, better not out, I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. He'll be here soon. Get ready. He's making a list, checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Do your chores. Brush your teeth. That's right. And your homework. And your hair. Every night. That's right. You, you better watch out. You better not cry. Better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. Santa Claus is coming. Santa Claus is coming to town. Stop reindeer paws, up jumps good old Santa Claus. Down, Down through the chimney with lots of toys, all for the little one's Christmas joys. Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Up on the housetop, click, click, click. Down through the chimney with Saint Nick. Oh, be a Santa. The world a merry Christmas be so jolly, decked with holly, and by golly, everyone will love you if you be a Santa Santa Claus. Everyone will love you if you be a Santa Claus. Be a Santa. The night before Christmas and all through my house, not anybody was stirring except my baby brother Harvey. He's always stirring and yelling. Such a pest. Oh, look at that phone bill. Judy, have you seen this phone bill? Uh, you're looking for the phone bill? I left it on the kitchen table. Did you look on the kitchen table? That's Daddy. He's stirring, too. Amber, close the door. We're not trying to heat the neighborhood, you know. He's just paying some bills. And then we hung up our Christmas socks because we're hoping that Santa would be here soon. Me and Harvey were snuggled in bed. Sounds like something's out on the lawn. I can hear it clatter. Hey, you! Get those reindeer off my lawn! Ho, ho, ho! Hey! What do you want? I, um... Santa, you're here! Your eyes are so twinkly, your tummy's so jolly. I, I, I Have just... you come to rob me? No, rob you, no, no, rob. no. Are we being robbed? I, uh, no, Claus here, sage, mystic, toy maker. <laughs> no, I'm here to bring a message of love and goodwill to speak of joy and Christmas miracles. <laughs> How much is that going to cost me? <laughs> what app do I need to download for that? <laughs> cost, there's no cost for love and goodwill. All we need is an open heart. Joy and laughter cost nothing. How can we put a price on the smile of a child? Just look at her sweet face. The miracle of Christmas is free for each of us. What's an app? <laughs> you just don't understand. Life is so hard. I work till I'm weary and there's no money left. And, and the kids, who has time for the kids? Those are problems. They're real. I'm not saying they aren't. But 
when we let a bit of love into our hearts, we can see miracles. You know, what, what you say, you know, <laughs> reminds me of the love that Judy and I felt when Amber was born. That was a miracle. You know, I feel better just thinking about it. It feels even better when we can remember those feelings all the rest of the year. Remember, never lose hope. My heart, miracles dwell in the invisible. Look, Daddy, he's even filled our Christmas socks, and he's standing there by the chimbley. Just one question. Yeah, yeah, what's that, Santa? Where's your front door? This, uh, <laughs> this chimney thing works a lot better coming down. Oh, yeah. That way? All right. He jumped on his sleigh, and then he whistles. <laughs> the way they all flew, and I heard him say as he disappeared, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. have Greg Luce do another lovely accordion solo. Let's give a round of applause for Greg Luce to start. Yes, our, our prologue. Thank you, Greg. Good to see you. <laughs> this, is, this is also the time of our offering for our Christmas service, and we encourage you to give from the heart. A portion of the proceeds from tonight's service will go to benefit Step Up Ventura, which is a local organization. We can clap for Step Up Ventura. <laughs> It's a local organization that benefits children who are impacted by homelessness. Thank you.
tell the story of Jesus born in a stable in Bethlehem. Now this was no abandoned place, but was a working stable filled with animals of all kinds. According to legend, the birth occurred at exactly midnight. Inside the stable, the animals watched in wonder as the newborn babe was wrapped in swaddling clothes and placed in a manger. Suddenly, the animals began to praise God for the miracles they had just seen. The animals talked. This went on for several minutes until the animals once again fell silent. The only humans who heard them were Mary, Joseph, and the Christ child. The legend of the talking animals persists to this day. Every Christmas Eve, wide-eyed children and certain exceptional wide-eyed adults creep into stables just before midnight to hear the animals praise God for the wondrous birth of the Christ consciousness. Now some grown-ups scoff at this. Old wives' tales, they mutter. Those children should be home in bed, not out in the cold waiting for the family cow to start to speak. <laughs> uh, but the young at heart know, or at least they believe, that animals really do praise God at midnight every Christmas Eve. And the wisdom in each of us perhaps knows that all beings on the planet Earth add value to the whole. Each one of us has a voice, and tonight, we raise our voices to call forth greater possibilities. If you listen, you can hear God speak to you through all of creation. Listen with your heart tonight and allow a new dream to be born within you. Give voice to the transformative power of the possible. Reclaim the innocence that you are and then lift up your dreams to the light. With God, all things are possible for you, for us, and for our beautiful world.
job, Bernie. <laughs> Can you sit next to the goat's butt? You okay with that? <laughs> okay. You can just stand here if you like, right here. Yeah, that's a perfect spot. Okay, there you go, perfect. We're gonna. She, well, she's no candles in front of the fire, in front of the, the okay, sight line. <laughs> you get a goat instead of a candle. You can just hold your candle, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay, good. <laughs> How's everybody? Okay, good. Yeah. Hey, good job. Hi. Hi, good to see you. So here we are. Um, <laughs> That went well, don't you think? <laughs> I'm going to invite the candle lighters to come forward. Bless you. Everybody have their light? Anybody missing? Okay. Let's sing Silent Night together three times. First, first only. Here we go. Time. Here we go.
time. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin mother and child, holy and so tender. And if you would, take a moment to hold your candles up. And see this beautiful world of light, light in the darkness, and know that you are this light in the darkness. Even when you blow out your candle, the light that you are will continue to shine. Let's blow out our candle now. And let us pray. When the song of the angel is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flock, the work of Christmas begins to find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to make peace among brothers and sisters, to make miracles in the heart. Please repeat after me. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Namaste. Namaste. And, so and so it is. Good evening.